Hello and welcome back once again to the Single Malt Review. Oh look, a bottle of Glen Farkless. Where's the age? God, they must have put it on the back. No, they've forgotten it. Oh my God. Better it's, no it's 40 years old. It's not 40 years old. <laughs> um, it's 40% ABV. This is Glen Farkless Heritage mm. and it is a no age statement Glen Farkless, oh which God. is a bit of a... It's a bit of a departure for that one. Um, well, in this part of the world anyway, if you're, uh, as we discovered in Germany, they'll mm. make all sorts of weird, no age statement, not very good bottlings um, for you with the, I think it was, oh, clean fire, Springs, was Springs and Team, and Grass, mm. Wheelbarrow, I don't know. Um, those, we were not really impressed with those. So, mm. um, only like hot off the heels of the eight year old as well, I mm. thought. Why not? Why not go even yeah. lower and see what we can see what we can find here? So yeah, this is a no age statement. Um, Glen Park globally available, I think. Um, presumably, if we can get it down here, forty percent, um, and thereby chill filtered. Uncertain about mm. the um, color, uh, natural color, natural color. There we go. Oh, Certainty. Um, mm. So there you go. They've um, stuck to what guns they could. Mm. Um, yes, thank you. I, we weren't quite prepared on this one, obviously. Haven't left anything weird in there, that's fine. So, um, let's dig straight in. Mm. Have they gone too far in their descent down the age statements? Mm. See what we think. As you go, I think the last the last Glenn Clarkness we looked at was the eight-year-old, and um, we thought that was pretty good yeah. for an age statement whiskey. And um, you know, no harm done to it by putting an eight-year-old on the bottle. Um, even if it's a young age statement, as we will um, find out shortly enough, um, it's still a statement of age. It's a statement of quality. Mm. And um, eight-year-old whiskey, that can be perfectly good. And that one was. Mm. This one, all bets are off. Um, yeah. We're just floating out in the ether here, mm. so goodness knows what we're dealing with. Uh, so that's a natural colour, so it means there's definitely a, a fair whack of older whiskey in here. Yeah. Well, Pushing that, that hue. and um, tempered as usual with the fact that um, because Glen Farkless uses um, sherry wood mm. and European wood almost completely, typically, um, we will get color more color faster. Mm. So, um, but even even that said, that's pretty nice, good healthy color coming out of that one, especially since it's natural. So mm. on the nose. I like it. You need a lot of citrus, uh, fresh cut lemon mm -hmm. and lime. It's very mm. space ID and it's yeah. still pretty recognisable as Glen Farkless. I mm. think the the best this one could hope for, a no age statement Glen Farkless, it's um, here is in one package, in one nutshell, everything that Glen Farkless whiskey mm. is about. That is what this whiskey should be doing. Um, because it's not favouring any particular mm. um, cask type finish, it's not leaning in any particular direction. If it says Glen Farkless on the bottle and nothing else, mm. The first thing it should taste like is Glen Farkless, and I think, on the nose at least, it does. It ticks that box, so that's that's good. Otherwise, it's a very very classic um, space side, with lots of white fruit, lots of mm. red fruit, and quite a lot of berry as well. Mm. Apparently, a sweet and fruity nose, according to my notes. And I'm certainly getting citrus fruit, and also some coconut ice for a bit of sweetness. Mm. Mm, yep, and yeah, vanilla and nuttiness. Yeah. More vanilla than nuttiness, maybe. Um, maybe just a little bit of... Mm, maybe a little bit of almond, sweet almond. Mm. A little bit of cashew, but otherwise I wouldn't say it was um, mega, mega nutty, um, mm. like some of the older ones can be. And so far, none of the tinned fruit dankness that comes mm. from uh, Speyside heavily sherry whiskey sometimes. So, on the palate. Mm. Mm. You know what? I like that. Mm -hmm. It has a bit of that savoury heft to it, without going too far, so there's still a good um, sweetness carrying it. Lots of fruit, a generous amount of ginger and clove to bring some spiciness, and a bit of a prickle as well, hinting at some of the yummy yeah, spirit. It is pretty youthful, but yeah. again, it's very space -ity. it's very mm. fruity, very heathery, very honey, but importantly, most importantly, like I said, it's pretty unmistakably Glen Parkless. Mm. Young as it may be, they have held on to the, maybe not unmistakable, 
Um, like I say, I've got sort of five pocket distilleries I can always see coming. Mm -hmm. Glen Farkness is right on the outside of that. It is pickable, it does have quite a distinct distillery mm -hmm. character, but it's not, I couldn't pick it with my eyes closed. It would be a mm -hmm. low confidence sort of a sort of a, a, a get for that one. But knowing it's Glen Farkless, I can certainly see the threads here for what it is and yeah it's it's satisfying it's nice it's not under age it doesn't seem immature yeah it's not just an excuse to get rid of a lot of very young uh, whiskey in one go it's mm. a still a crafted and balanced uh, blend of different ages um, I enjoy almost every part of this there's a, just a slight streak of maybe uh, maybe just one or two of the whiskies that went in here wasn't quite as old as it could have been um, but that's um, that's a minor nitpick. My confusion with this whiskey is that there's already an eight-year-old um, at a pretty like the, the price difference between this and the eight-year-old is microscopic, um, absolutely microscopic. Such that if one was on special and the other wasn't, you could get the eight-year-old probably for cheaper than this, um, which leads me to some some confusion as to exactly why this exists. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just an experiment. Maybe they had... Um, maybe it's an experiment in getting whiskey out to market yeah. faster. Maybe this is actually younger than I'm thinking and that's um, the average age here is actually quite a lot True. younger. There's, a, there's a good know. market niche for recognisable brands but in an accessible no age yeah. of whiskey which is more, um, usually so more it's, affordable. Yeah, it, it's weird. I can only assume that the whiskey in here is actually quite a bit younger than eight, mm. and they've just done it so well that I can't tell. Mm. I can't lambast this as being immature. Well, with enough of the right kind of top dressing as well yeah. to bring up that average age and impart some older, mature whiskey character too. Um, because you were, I have only just gotten done um, grumbling about the um, what I thought was simply immature whiskey in the Deanston Virgin mm. Oak, um, their no age statement release. I thought that was just too much of a far cry from the 12, whereas this, line this up with a Glen Parkless 12, not dissimilar at all, I don't think. Um, stylistically a bit a bit dissimilar, the 12 is quite of a um, quite a light bodied sort of a thing, um, whereas this is a bit more of the um, full on sherry, but um, mm. in terms of the maturity factor, not that much different, so. Yeah, adding yeah. a smidge of water has, in a way, matured it a bit. It's mm. brought out some of the older whiskey character, I believe. Softened some of the uh, harsher, younger spirit, brought out some of the deeper, more savoury properties. <sighs> Changed yes. it a little, but not fundamentally transformed it, which is good. It's um, it's got those fruits moving. Yeah. Mm. Oh no, that's those those fruits are going up. Mm. Um, this could, and it has, mm. I can um, I can attest. This is a good summertime ice cube whiskey, oh, yeah. um, which we're um, soon to be in desperate need of. So, yeah, this, this holds up. This holds mm. up to water, and it will hold up to ice. And I think it's maybe remarkably good. Um, again, I'm, I'm a bit befuddled by it. I don't know quite mm. what's going on. I don't know how suspicious to be. <laughs> um, if it's a real, if it's a super you know, like young whiskey get this out the door, sell it now mm. project, they've done it remarkably well. Yeah. If it's a, let's make a really generous, thoughtful, balanced, let's put plenty of older whiskey in here, no age statement, I don't know why they did it, because <laughs> they've got an eight year old, they could have just stuck with that. I don't know, the two are very, very similar. The eight year old probably mm. has a bit more full on sherry characteristics than this one does, but who knows, who knows? Maybe it was just with the focus group said, you gotta have one of these, um, you know, the, the duty-free thirst for no age statement whiskey mm -hmm. is too great, um, make it happen. It could have, been, could have been the case, I don't know. But um, for better or worse, it exists, yeah. and it's fine. It's mm. perfectly good Glen Farkless. It will not do you any harm, and it is the cheapest you can buy, even yeah. if it's by a extremely microscopic margin. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, fair play to it, I suppose. It's an 86 from me. It is mm. perfectly good Glen Farkless. You could do a hell of a lot worse when it comes yeah. to your single malt. I think this is ideally poised at maybe a whiskey newcomer. If you're trying to introduce someone to whiskey and you want them to save a Glen Farkless and to draft it for a lot better appreciation, then, yeah, this is both the trailer and the highlights reel. This captures a lot of what makes Glen Farkless as good as it is. 
It gives you a, a preview of what you can get from younger Glenfarclas, from older Glenfarclas, and just the, well, the sheer diversity that exists within yeah. that one label. Actually, I think that's, that's a way better mm. way of putting it, because there is, you can, you can taste the youthful whiskey in here, yeah. but if you let it kind of linger on to the finish, um, there's a, there's a wee, there's a tinge of super old mm. whiskey in there. Just the, the very last bit of top yeah. dressing comes in and you just get this shadow, this hint, mm. sneak preview of what, say, 21-year-old Glen yeah. tastes like. That slightly more savoury, um, end of the line, um, deeply matured mm. sherry character. It which is. You, mm. Yeah, you wouldn't otherwise get. It is integrated well, though. The older and younger flavours are melded nicely here. There's no... Uh, sudden sharp dislocation from one to the next. They will come together quite nicely, give you a well-rounded overview. It's not astonishing, but it is satisfying and comfortable and accessible and 84 points from yeah. me. Yeah, I would love to know um, what actually went into here. I will never find out. Um, <laughs> but uh, goodness knows, if you've got speculation of your own, then please mm. let us know in the comments. But yeah, otherwise, let us be yet another Glen Farkless. Um, can they go younger? No, not without a minus sign. Um, <laughs> so, we'll uh, see what they come up with next. Slandra, we will be right back with... Oh no, it's happened again. It's happened again. It's rum time. Mm. 